Thank you, Mr. President. I, I do want to make a contribution in this take note debate, and in particular into the answer, answer that the, um, the leader of the government gave in respect to uh, the sacking of the Honourable Catherine Cusack and the double standards which are applying here. A perversion of standards, in fact. I mean, the, essentially the answer was that because um, Ms Cusack is part of the executive, in other words, she's a parliamentary secretary, or you're a whip, I think was the answer, or you're a minister, then you are bound to vote with the government, and therefore if you don't, it's a sackable offence. But isn't the point that mm -hmm. the average person would look at this and say, well, surely if we've got a premier uh, uh, not, not disclosing relationships and shredding documents on council grants. Surely if we've got ministers going around firing machine guns on rifle ranges, surely if we've got ministers destroying workers' compensation schemes and underpaying workers, to be responsible for their, their actions too and lose their jobs too. Instead, we've had a parliamentary secretary who's taken a principal position uh, and I want to congratulate her. She, she served on that, uh, that, that koala committee with me. And I, I know that she deeply believes in this and she's taken a principal stand based on the logic and the merit of the argument. And that is, is that the passing of that SEP would have resulted in destruction of habitat and destruction of koalas. And she's done the right thing by her electorate and stood up for it. And what does she get in return? She loses her parliamentary position as parliamentary secretary when she looks around and sees her colleagues acting up, tearing the government apart, all sorts of maladministration and no recourse whatsoever. And it's okay for the leader of the government to say that those are the rules, but what I'm saying is that they're wrong. It's a perversion of standards. If you're going to do that and apply those sort of things for not binding, then surely ministers of the Crown should be responsible for those litany of things we've seen over the last few months. Instead, you get a decent person, and she's, I, I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you, she's earned my respect in this place. There's not many people would have the guts to do what she's done. But instead, she's been punished for it, and she's been made an example. And what it tells everyone on that side is that if you want to act up, if you want to cause mayhem, that's okay, as long as you're connected with the right power base, but you do the right thing by your electorate, and you stand up, for, your, for, for, for committee processes and the process of this parliament, you will be punished. It's wrong and it shouldn't have been allowed. Here, here. No, 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 you'll close it off.